Hello everyone, it's the new metal messiah, Michael Black. This is our most ambitious outing yet. I'm not saying that we're filmmakers. I'm not saying that we take filmmaking seriously. This is an internet video. It's not film quality, whatever. We shot it with a handy cam in Sony Vegas. But I had people hanging out of windows to get overhead shots. We had all these crazy amounts of people involved from, you know, churches to uh, Wiccan shops to, um, you know, all these different bands and all this different uh, stuff. And Kyle LaBera comes back uh, as the voice of, of the narrator and God and all these things. Um, this is kind of a spin on It's a Wonderful Life, I guess, but it's really loosely based on my own life from 2013. 2020 me is vastly different than 2013 me it doesn't matter enjoy the it's hard for me to want i want to call it a movie or a short film but if i say movie or short film then it gets lumped into that category when really it's just a long internet video for, of internet characters <laughs> obsession and responsibility would you like to see the kind of man we're talking about well here you go since you guys got together and you're not making any headway. What's your point, man? And my point is, why don't you just give it up, man? It's not like that your guitar skills are gonna get you discovered at this point. Dude, you're just jealous, man. You don't know anybody else with my skill. Oh, Man, I got this. Yeah, I'm no, I know people with your skill. <laughs> oh, yeah? I know people with twice your skill. Really? I know people with three times your skill. I think you're pushing it now. I know people with four times your skill. Oh, yeah? Nah, I just don't know them personally, is all. Do you want to walk? Well, I could walk or watch you smash more Mennonites. Is that multiple choice? Dude, no Amish with a wooden hammer is going to stop me. Dude, the wife. Hello. Hey, babe. Hey, I'm gonna take Michael out to the hospital. She wants to take Michael to the hospital. Oh, yeah, he must have a temperature of 98.9. Ah, shit! Hospital! What did he say? Now, you're gonna be here for a Christmas Eve party, right? Yes, yes, I know. We do it every year. Of course, I'll be there. I need you to come home. No, I'm not doing that. I've got band practice. 
You need to quit wasting time with that stupid band and get home. No, no, I'm going to practice. and we want to talk to you about your submission. Yeah, guys, I'll, look, I'll be right back. I gotta talk to this guy. Oh, sorry about that, sir. Please continue. Yeah, I've shown your stuff to our executives, and everyone likes it. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you like it. We have, uh... Michael. What? Are you know, brand practice yet? No, I'm on the phone. Uh... Who's that guy? Uh-huh. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, oh, nothing, sir, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, just pl please go on. Well, what I was trying to say was we really enjoyed your stuff. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, can you hold, please? That's my wife. No problem, sir. We here at Death to the Dragonfly Records value family. Hello? Hey, babe, Michael's home. He was fine. Really? No way! I would have never believed it! I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing, alright? Just, just go on. You better have your ass at that Christmas Eve party. Yes, I know! We do it every year! Why would you even remind me? I'm on an extremely important phone call right now. Could you just piss off for once? No, you piss off! You and that stupid band! It's not stupid! Hi, sir. How's it going? I'm sorry. That was just the wife. <laughs> Go on. We want to set you up on an exclusive show for our top record executives. And if they like it, we will sign you on the spot. Oh, my God, sir. We would, we would love to do that. Where would you like us to perform? This once-in-a-lifetime opportunity takes place on Christmas Eve. Uh, uh, All of our top record executives sir, uh, can't wait to hear your band perform. Sir, I, 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 well, see you there, Chief. Oh, shit. Because your wife decided to get induced on that day. I swear she did that on purpose. 
Or when we had a chance to be on TV and we had to rush her to the hospital and she was perfectly fine. Dude, let's face it, she doesn't want you to make it. Now, what's one family event versus a lifetime of financial stability through a record contract? Look, we need you and we need an answer now. All I've ever wanted was to be famous. All I've ever wanted was to have a contract, play in a band, play for people, make a living off of it. This is all I've ever wanted in my entire life. We're doing this! I wasn't joking! Yes! So, it would seem Michael is about to abandon responsibility for a small piece of fame. What? He does have till Christmas Eve to decide. Hey boys, how's it going? Good, Good Daddy. Daddy! Hey boys! What are you guys doing? What are you doing? I'm coming here to see you guys. What do you guys want to do? Wrestling! Well, I don't feel like wrestling. Aww. But I know somebody who does. Yay! He's crazy. He's mean. He's strong and powerful. He's going to beat both you little boys real bloody pulp. Michael Black Wrestling. Wow! It's on! <laughs> ah! Ah, no foreign objects. Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! 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 Change his clothes. You go out there with Pimpin' Paul, alright? Go on. Ugh, this kid's are crazy. Now I can get some guitar practice in. You know I'm practicing in here. Can't you hear the guitar? Hey, what are you, what are you guys doing, man? Don't touch us. Hey, stop it, Paul! Watch these brass from while I practice. Jesus. Hey guys, we'll play some digging, Bill. you want it to go. Holy shit, who the hell are you? I'm the you you want to be. The only thing stopping you from being me is you. What do you mean by that? You know your family's holding you back. They have been for years. So what's your point? I'm just saying, you need to do you. And I don't know, maybe not worry about them so much. They're my family, how could you even say that? Hey. I am only telling you what we both know you truly want. You're wrong. I love my family. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you do. How about you go work on that pinch some more? Yeah, you're damn right I will. Screw you.
Man, that guy's useless. He's just a shell of what I used to be. Well, see, I've already got most of his drums for the show. Well, that's cool. Well, that's just great. That's exactly the kind of day I have to screw it. Paul? Uh oh, I'm surprised you even remember Paul. Didn't I leave you behind once we got signed? What are you even doing here? You want a handout? Oh, huh, that's charming. Actually, I'm not Paul. I just play him on TV. But in answer to your question, no, I don't need a handout. But maybe I can hand something to you. The gift of knowledge. What do you mean you're not Paul? Of course you're Paul. You got all those features. You're even bald. Hey, Paul's not bald. He's follically challenged. But I digress. Tell me, what was going through your head when you went to that show to impress the record label executives instead of having a nice Christmas Eve at home with your family? You know, there's more than one Christmas Eve. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Why, it's funny you should ask, Michael. Why, I'm in fact, I'm an angel. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're an angel. I think all that boozing finally went to your head. Oh, ye of little. You know what? Screw you. I got a phone call to make anyway. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Well, why don't you tell me who the bastard is that's going to be walking the unemployment line tomorrow that's decided that pink was a good color for our damn bus? I like it. What? Where do you come from? Up there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call you back. Now, what the hell? I'm gonna make this conference call anyway. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello everyone from my life, it's Michael. I just wanna let all of you know that I'm extremely super rich and famous now and I have no use for any of you. Bye bye Ah, uh, that felt good. What? Five minutes! Fine, I'm coming! <laughs> Showtime. The new metal messiah, Michael Black.
they're fine. No way. No way. I don't believe you. Hey, Tim! I banged your sister last night! Nothing. I'm here to teach you the importance of family. I don't know who you think you are, but I don't need to hear this. Oh, I beg to differ. What was that? What? He did what to my sister? What the hell? Where the hell am I? What the hell, man? What are you? I told you, Morgan. I'm an angel. I know, I know. You're an angel, and I'm a Super Saiyan. Come on! Really? Even Thomas didn't doubt this much. Do you want some proof? I think this is one for the big guy. What big guy? This big guy. Oh, God. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I don't get this. What do you guys want from me? We want your soul, Michael. Moreover, we want you to see the folly of your path thus far, and reform. But there's nothing wrong with what I've been doing! Really? Alright, Gabe. Show him. Show him, boss. Ah, Welcome to the Life and Times on What the Hell Happened. Tonight's story, we follow the career of a once up-and-coming musical star, Michael William Johnson I. Born to a lower middle income family, he turned to music to occupy his time. This love soon turned to obsession, and all other things were forfeited for his passion to play. Yeah, at first it was cool, but then he just got way too into it. I mean, I'd be calling him all the time, like, man, can we hang out? And he'd be saying something like, oh, uh, I'd love to, but I gotta stay home work on my bench or something like that. It just, it really got to be where I couldn't even hang out with him anymore. As he continued down this path, the life on the road and his striving obsession to be the best began to catch up with him. It just got crazy, man. The amount of shows we were doing, Michael started coping by turning towards cocaine. At first, I didn't really notice. Eventually, it got to a point where he'd be mainlining cocaine through his scrotum. I just need to say. It wasn't long after this development that this tool that helped him perform became his crutch, which would ultimately ruin him. We had an intervention for him once. Let's just say it didn't go too well. What is this all about, babe? We just want you to know that we all love you. Tim can explain more. This is a safe place filled with people who care about you. We just, we've come together because we want you to get better. We're seriously worried about your life, your living habits. All we want is your betterment. Is that true? Yeah, man. What? Well, where's, where's Pimp and Paul and Arthur? This is only for people who care about you. Who are those guys? Hi. Hi. To be honest, I hadn't really noticed them until now. It was at this point that Michael's behavior degraded even further. Finally, it got to be too much, even for his band. We told him, look, you gotta go to rehab or you're out of the band. In retrospect, it probably wasn't the best thing that we did because that's what got him stuck at Tommy Rotten's ass. Tommy Rotten was one of the biggest cocaine dealers on the West Coast. During the time that he then reached the height of their popularity, Michael had developed a $4,000 a day habit this is what eventually led to his hospitalization. Tommy? Tommy? Bro? What 
do you want with the boss? I just need my fix, man. Where's he at? Where's where's he at? I'm right here, Michael. What do you need? I know you got the good stuff, man. Show me the good stuff. It's right here. This will get you going. I want to get going. I want to look. This is all the money I have. Take it. Just give me some. What's this, man? This 120 G. What do you think this is? Dude, we've been friends for years, man. Can't you just make it enough? Just this one time. This is a charity. Get him. Tommy, no! No! Very few people know of what happened to Heathen, though there are a few at this time that know what happened to Michael. I've been running my shop for the last two years, and over the last couple of months, Michael Johnson's been hanging around. I think it might be the name that draws him down here. I mean, I used to listen to Heathen. They were a good band, but when you look at him now and what he's become and where they're at, it's just sad, really. What, you again? Seriously? Screw you, Neil. What, you think you're somebody because you got this little shop? You ain't nobody. You ain't nobody. I got something that's going to fix this. All right, that's it. I got something that's going to fix this problem once and for all. Get out of here, you. This is a business place. This ain't nothing for your rock star ass. Get out of here. Washed up old has-been. And where is he now? Well, let's check in on him, shall we? It's sad, isn't it? Is this me? You know, one life tends to touch so many other lives. But toward the end of yours, you touch no one. You just faded off into obscurity. All I did was follow my dreams. I don't see how that could be so bad. But life has a way of changing things around. Our lives are what we make of them, Michael. Yours was filled with selfish ambition and delusions of grandeur. Ill-fitting garb for a husband and father of two. But you don't need me to tell you this. There's a decision that must be made, Michael, and you're the only one who can make it. What are you talking about? What does this all mean? What that means is you're dead, Michael. And as you can see, I'm the closest person that you know to even show up, and I'm not even the real Paul. You mean nobody came to my funeral or anything? Like who? Like my wife or my children or my bandmates or, or anybody. I guess you missed the documentary. You haven't spoken to any of them since the intervention. Well, except for Tommy Rotten, but we all seen where that led. It just kind of fell apart, man. I lost control. You've got to tell me how I can fix it. I'm sorry, Michael. You can't. Like your epitaph, it's written in stone. Damn it! There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Why? Sort of a waiting room for souls. Whereupon that soul can go a number of different directions. You could go to heaven. And you could go to the other place. But you're not going to do too well there unless you know how to play a fiddle. And in some rare cases, individuals like yourself are given another chance. Would you like another chance? Story? Yeah! 
you a story. But you know I'm trying to practice. You know, Christian, yeah, I'm coming to the party. Let's go, boys. Come on, boy. Let's go. Ah! Come on, Michael. Let's get to that party. Come on. Yeah, I own a chain of restaurants. <laughs> oh, my God. Three houses, central here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite a prize, if you like me on this dating service. <laughs> Somehow, I ended up in the same tale that I was telling. No, I can't! Our lives are what we make of them, Michael. Your life was filled with obsession, or our lives are what we make of them, Michael. Yours was filled with selfish ambition, and fuck. <laughs> yours was filled with selfish ambition and delusions of grandeur. <laughs> delusions of grandeur. <laughs> yours was filled with selfish ambition and delusions of grandeur. I right, will start that over. I said it. Ambition. Ambition. Yours was filled with selfish ambition and. Ambition. <laughs> Yours was filled with selfish ambition and. 
I didn't get over here that time. Yours was filled with hip, or well, I don't know, ill-fitting garb for a husband and father of three. Huh? Father of three? Ill-fitting garb for a husband and married house. <laughs> our lives are what we make of them, Michael. Yours was filled with... Our lives are what we make of them, Michael. Yours was filled with selfish ambition and delusions of grandeur. Ill-fitting garb for a husband and father of two. Perfect! Oh my god. Wasn't that awesome? Wasn't that amazing? Well, it was something. I had so much fun doing this until it came to the editing part. But hey, it was good. It was really good. Um, I thought it was our best yet. As far as trying to keep continuity... <laughs> Uh, trying to do these things. Um, I do have sort of a problem where I, I like to film everything in a linear path. Like, if there's a, there's, there's like a shot sheet of what I need to get, I want to get it in order if I can. But, you know, some days it's like, oh, well, we gotta go to the church to get the stage and the lighting and stuff today. So let's do that scene today. And, oh, let's do the trussle thing today. And, oh, let's do it in Indianapolis. Um, you know. You gotta work around people's schedules and stuff. It's fine. It worked out. I, I think it, it's a good internet video, you know? Uh, not a film. Not a, really a movie. We had negative budget. For I wish I could do something like that again. Having all these people involved. I even had all these people from Channel Zero and all these things. They were all over the screen on that conference call, man. Uh... Negative Nation, like, just, it was nice, it was really nice that everyone came together for this project. Uh, it didn't do as well as I'd hoped, I, I think it only got about 800 views. So, thank everyone who was involved in this movie, thank you for watching, you can follow links here, you can do what have you, you can subscribe, you can do whatever... I'm just glad you watched it. I'm glad you made it this far and you're hearing me ramble now. <laughs> take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Be good to the planet. Good night.